All right, this is the real deal. This is why you should travel to Morocco. It's these kinds of experiences, the uh, old cities. And this is a uh, very authentic one, that's for sure. Merci beaucoup. Just here. Thank you. Shukran. Sure, Medina? Spanish, French. Spanish, French, and English. English, no. I see. No problem. Yo hablo poquito español. Español, sí. Muy poquito, pues. Entonces, ¿quieres el centro de la medida? Ah, uh, sí, sí. Estamos en el centro. El centro de la medida. Muy bien. Si quieres la medida antigua, te vas a para aquí. Do you have any plan direct from now? Uh, yes, six hour flight. Yeah, from there. New York City, JFK Airport to yeah. Casablanca. To Casablanca, yeah. yeah. The best okay, way to get to Morocco. Welcome, welcome. Okay. You can go this way and that you. Thank you, sir. I'll see you later. See you later, man. Hey, guys, so this is Tetuan. And this is the only church in the city, a Spanish era church, although that is. Uh, not so old, I think 20th century. Try not to uh, film the police and piss them off, but uh, I wanted to see this. 2.15 in the afternoon here. So uh, I'm coming from Chefchouan, the beautiful blue city in the mountains. I stayed there for a week, got that uh, shared taxi for 40 Moroccan Durham took about an hour that is four dollars and fifty cents and then the uh, private taxi there that was only 10 Durham a dollar to get uh, from the taxi stand area into the city center and I'm now going to walk into the Medina the old town I am not sure yet if I am staying here for the night or not. Just want to take a look first. Looks like a uh, fort up on the hill up there. So I might continue on to Tangier today, which is another hour or so away. But uh, first, just explore this uh, less touristy city than uh, Chefchouan or Tangier or Fez on the Mediterranean Sea. It'd be nice to get a uh, look at the sea. Back on the Mediterranean, a very different uh, part of it from 
the last time, which would have been in Greece back in like August. So a nice uh, pedestrian street here. But I'm looking forward to seeing the Medina. It should get a lot more interesting once you get back into those uh, old winding lanes. But wow, a really nice vibe in this town. A breeze, you can kind of sense the sea air. I have no idea how far it is, if the uh, sea is like right over beyond that uh, building or if it's miles away or what. I'll take a look at a map at some point here. Here we go. I guess maybe the Medina is inside here. Yes. I see a uh, entrance. Whoa, that is... Holy crap. An animal. Can't tell what kind. All chopped up. So, to... Uh, plunge into the Medina here and see where it goes. I have no idea. Might as well, man. Let's let's go for it. All right. This is the real deal. This is why you should travel to Morocco. It's these kinds of experiences, the uh, Old cities. And this is a uh, very authentic one, that's for sure. Quite different from uh, Chef Shawan. This is amazing. Salam, salam. Intense. How far does this go? I do not know, but we will find out at least somewhat. Some pretty intense smells in here and not good ones. Fishy and meaty and dirty. Look at that. So you can see, now it goes a long way that way and then into the uh, darkness over there so this is just the very beginning of the entirety of this uh, old town 
and uh, I have just no idea like where I'm going or what I'm looking for. I don't have a hotel. I would like to uh, see the sea. So let's maybe uh, go for a little ways further and then find a uh, exit. Maybe right up here and find a way to get over to the uh, Oh man, it just goes and goes. Check the map and uh, see how far away the sea is. It will be nice to see it and maybe uh, find a restaurant where I can get a drink and look out at the Mediterranean. Mmm, some uh, yummy smells there. Okay, what do we got? Not looking like a way out there. Whoa. Looks like we've left the uh, food market and now in the uh, kitchen supplies or hardware or something. Man, oh man. Okay, looks like uh, that is a way out. Medina. Medina is this way? Okay, thank you. Shukran, shukran. Okay, so I guess this isn't the way out, this is the way in. I guess we haven't even started it yet, or I don't know. Follow that guy's advice and uh, head this way. Morocco is just so steeped in culture and history, the old architecture, the classic markets. I want to get a uh, little bit uh, better shot of this amazing door. So, Al Kasbah, Bab Makbar, Bab Nuadar. Let's just pop down here for a second, see what's. Uh, What's up here, man? Looks very, very interesting. Through a tunnel. Whoa. Is that drinking water? Or? I'm sure that uh, there are some thieves around in these parts, but uh, maybe not because it's less touristy, I don't know. I'm sure that there are some, of course, but uh, maybe not as bad as you might think, just like looking at the kind of uh, funky conditions. Okay, well, I think uh, I'll get back into the market area. So, which way to go from here? I don't know. Outside? Oh, okay. No, oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thanks. No, thanks. Nothing. Huh. 
think I will uh, go that other way and see if it's an exit. Berber market. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Upstairs. Wait. Wait. Here, Simpson Company, the Tannery House. Where is it to see the mountain, the Medina, and the, just a visit, not for buy, not for buy. Only look for publicity. I saw in Fez the Tannery, so yeah. now I'm just walking around. So have a good one. Where you California. Yes. California. Peace. Peace, man. This one is a serious maze. Ah, okay. Maybe this is. Salam, salam. Aha. What is going on here? Whoa, is this uh, another... Yeah, I guess it is a tannery place. So is the uh, sea just like right over there? We'll find out eventually. Okay, we're gonna get up on uh, top of that thing. Excellent, that's, that's good. Get a little perspective hopefully on uh, where the heck I am. Okay, the big reveal. Oh, yeah. Uh, not quite what I expected. Yeah, beautiful uh, yeah. view, but uh, oh, a cemetery. Whoa, man, that is intense. So, yeah, the uh, sea is like nowhere nearby. I can see it out there. It's a long ways away. Okay, well, that uh, tells me something. That gives me some uh, perspective on where I am. No français. Espanol. Muy poquito español. Yo también po poquito. Sí, sí. Yo en uh, inglés no hablar mucho. Poquito. I understand. No problem. No poquito. Arabic, French, Spanish, but no, uh, no, no English. English. Spanish, Francia, yeah. Yeah. The English, no. All right. Uh, now the quest is to find the exit. Donde esa el salida? Salida. Salida de Medina? A ser una vuelta después a salida, no. In the road. In the road. Después. It was a nice, uh, wow. Epic sandals. Those are amazing. This is a ultimate place for shopping if, uh, you want to buy some stuff? This would be a great place to uh, come spend a few hundred dollars and you would get a lot. Grand Mosque or no? Yeah, no, no. Grand Mosque? Yeah, I no. see. No, 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 no. After, after, yeah, okay. Man, I had no idea that it was going to be this massive. This is like rivaling the uh, Fez Medina. It's muy grande Medina. Si, muy grande. Si. Ahora tu no has visto nada, igual. Si. There we go, Grand Mosque. Tiene cuatro puertas. Big Mosque, cuatro puertas. La puerta de las mujeres. La puerta de la gente, hombres. Y la puerta por entrar. Okay. For something. Yeah. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's very nice. Now we're going to the exit, apparently. What a just intense contrast between the modern modern part of the city and here. Stepping back in time. 
so much character back in here. <laughs> I guess it's probably a good thing that uh, I got a guy because this is insane. But if you're born and raised here, then uh, you know this maze like the back of your hand. This one is big. Okay. Riyad? 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 No, 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 Riyad. No, Riyad. No, Riyad. This one is very big. Riyad, 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 Okay, where we in? I'm seriously wondering if this is bigger than Fez. Tetuan Fez, Mas Mucho Grande. Tetuan Mas Grande. Okay, this is looking helpful. Or maybe not. We're still deep in it, it looks like. Man, the shopping just goes on forever. We're done, okay. Let's see what's outside the Medina here. Okay. All right, there it is. Looks like a big square. Bab Rua Gate. All right, it really opens up here. Big square, but it is blocked off. And I am not really out of the woods yet, but uh, kind of, sort of. So I paid that guy 100 dirham, 11 bucks, totally worth it. Got a tour and got out of the Medina, got a great taste of it. And now I'm not sure, but uh, I'm thinking probably... Hello. Salam, salam. I will catch a taxi to Tangier, stay there for the night. This is obviously a city worth visiting. Salam, salam. Shukran, shukran. There is obviously a lot to see here. Excuse me? Reportage, no? No, Francais. Reportage program. Yes, making video, video of the Medina. Adios. But I think it will be nice to uh, make a little more progress, get to Tangier. For one thing, my time in Morocco is winding down. I have a flight booked out of Casablanca again, back to uh, New York City, where I started my journey three weeks ago, going back for Thanksgiving. So this will be, I think, my all-time shortest international trip of only three weeks. When I went to uh, Vietnam and Hong Kong, and that was a month, and I think that that was the shortest. Normally I spend months. Actually, no. I went to Mexico for only a week because the pandemic hit. I wasn't planning to leave as early as I uh, did. That was back in March 2020. Trump had just announced that he was closing the borders and canceling flights from Europe and I was in Zacatecas, Mexico, and decided I should probably get out of here. Better uh, safe than sorry. And so I uh, booked a flight for a couple days later. I'm in the middle of a uh, soccer game. 
So yeah, that was the shortest international trip, I guess. But uh, anyways, a little unusual for me to only spend three weeks and then go back. However, I am probably going to be going to new places in the winter. Maybe it will be a fairly short trip back to uh, the U.S. We shall see, but uh, definitely planning more international adventures for uh, the coming months. We'll see. But for now, I have six more days in Morocco, so I will definitely uh, pack in some more. There's a lot more to see, of course. I will probably be doing a route from Tangier down the coast towards Rabat and then Casablanca. Even though I am very, very tempted to uh, try to get into the desert. Whoa, beautiful uh, facade of a building there. Let's go check it out. It looks like it might be Spanish. So I guess this is a good spot to uh, catch a taxi out of here. I might just uh, go for it. Of course, there is more to see in Tetuan, but uh, kind of feeling like making some progress. So, uh, not sure what this is, but uh, not as interesting as I thought it might be. It's falling apart. That's not even like a painting or a mosaic or anything. It is just like wallpaper. <laughs> it's peeling away. And here we got another big gate. Let's take a look at this. So what is this? Like a uh, covered market, I guess. I'm sure I could wander through here for a while, but uh, I think I won't. Just take a look. Lots of flowers. Salam. There goes the Azan. I think that is the sign. My wandering and filming is completed. Got a great uh, experience here in Tetuan, even if just for an hour or so. Certainly. Uh, yeah. Worth spending a few days. There is much to see in the area. You could even do a day trip to Chefchaouen from here and to Akchaur, which I missed. Okay, we have grand taxis here. Let's see if uh, I can just get a taxi direct to Tangier. So I guess I have to uh, get a petite taxi, a private taxi, over to the taxi stand where I was before and get one to Tangier from there.